Hey guys, in this video, we're gonna be building an AI automation to manage your email inbox and save you three to four hours per week. Now we're gonna be building in an innate in with no code so you can build it right alongside me or if you wait till the end of the video, I will tell you exactly how you can just get the template for free. Now, for those of you that don't know me, my name is Nolan, and after building my marketing agency up to six figures per month and experiencing just how painful building that business could be, I started creating AI automations for myself and quickly realized just how impactful they could be. So after experiencing the benefits firsthand, I've gone all in building AI agents and automations for agencies and service providers. Here's a quick demo. I've just received a new email and the workflow kicks off. First, the text classifier decides which path to push it down. Then we add a label for which type of email this is. Then our AI reads it, analyzes it, and crafts a subject and message to respond to the email. Then a draft is created and we're notified via Slack. Here's another where we got a promotional email from another company. The classifier labeled it as promotions. The AI decided whether or not it was worth pursuing. And when it decided it wasn't worth pursuing, it marked it as red so it would declutter our inbox. All right, let's go ahead and dive on into this build. So to start, of course, we're gonna need a trigger. We're gonna start with a Gmail trigger because that is the uh, inbox that I use. We're gonna use the on message received trigger. Now for this, we want the mode to be set to every minute. The event, obviously on message received, we wanna turn off, simplify, and then we wanna add a filter based on label names. And then we wanna add the label unread. And we're gonna go ahead and fetch a test event so that we can use it throughout the rest of this. And we've got our email. So it looks like it just pulled an email that just came through. That's great. And what I'm going to do next is I'm going to create a text classifier note. What this is going to do is it's basically going to select which path it wants the email to go down. And so for this, we're going to search text classifier. There we go. And what we're looking for to drop into the text to classify is going to be this JSON right here. And because this is a text classifier node, we actually have to create the categories for it to decide which path to push it down. So I've already created my categories. It's gonna be internal customer support, promotions, admins, and uh, sales. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and manually add all of those right now. Internal, I've got customer support, promotions, and admin finance, and then we're gonna have a sales opportunity. There we go. And now I'm just gonna add in a description to all these categories so that it has context on what each category is supposed to be. So I've actually already got the descriptions laid out because I planned this ahead of time for the video. So these are the descriptions for the categories that I have. You can either pause this and screenshot or you can just wait until the end and you'll get them. So what I'm gonna do is I'm now just gonna add these to all of my categories. We've got internal, customer support, promotions, admin finance, and sales opportunities. There we go. And before we test that step, we need to make sure that we add a model. So we're just gonna go in and add open AI. And for this, I'm just gonna use 4.0 mini. That should do totally fine. I'm gonna go back into my node and I'm gonna go ahead and test the step. And what we should get is all of the branches, but with only one of them with an item in it. So you can see internal has nothing, customer has nothing, admin has nothing, sales has nothing, but promotions has the email. Well, that means that the text classifier successfully routed the email uh, the right way. So since it's gone down the promotions tab, we're gonna continue our build down this tab. Next up, what we're gonna want is gonna be an add label function within a Gmail node. So we're gonna search Gmail again, and we're just gonna look for add a label to message. And right here, we're gonna drag in the ID and we're gonna find the label uh, that we wanna use. Now for this one, it's gonna be promotions. I had to rename that so it's cold outreach, but these are gonna be labels I've manually created inside of my inbox. So right here on the left-hand side, under labels, the plus button, you can create a label um, for anything that you want. Now promotions is actually protected because Gmail has its own promotions tab, so I just renamed it to cold email for this uh, example. And next up, I'm gonna go ahead and test this step. And that works, so we're gonna go ahead and continue on. Now from here, what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna go ahead and copy and paste this node. There we go. And I'm just gonna do it for all of these. There we go. And I'm just gonna name them um, based on the path that they are in. to Keep everything neat and organized.
So this one is going to be internal. And I'm actually just going to copy this. We're going to rename it. And I'm going to change the, um, the label to internal. There we go. And now that we're at this step, we get to choose how we want to proceed. Now, now for each of these categories, you may want something different to happen. For example, internal, you might want to be notified via Slack. Maybe it's a team member that needed to get in touch with you. Uh, for customer support, you may want to route it to somebody in the customer support department and so on and so forth for the rest of the categories. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to start with the promotions tab because that's the one we're actively live on. And then I'll create a demo for the other ones to decide how we want to route it and go from there. So in my particular build, I decided to add in AI nodes all across the line right here. These nodes will do mixed functions depending on the path that they're on, but in general, they'll be summarizing the email and potentially creating either a response or giving me um, an assessment of the email itself. So let's go ahead and start on the promotions tab. For this particular tab, I don't really want to read them. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to do another Gmail tab and I'm going to do mark as red. Um, so that's going to mark right there and we're going to add in the message ID right there. Good to go. Cool. Then I'm going to add in an AI node. And the reason I want to do this is I actually want to summarize these promotional labels. And so I'm actually going to have um, my AI assistant determine if the email is worth following up on or not. Now, remember, this particular path is a bunch of cold email, it's spam, it's sales. Uh, so for this, I'm just going to do message a model node. Okay, so for this, I'm just going to go ahead and add in my prompt right here, and I'm going to leave it as a user message, okay? And then I'm also going to output content as JSON, and we can go ahead and test this step. Now, what it should output is a summary and a recommendation. So the summary gives us a quick snapshot of the email and the recommendation is whether or not we should pursue it. Next, I'm going to add a flow branch and it's going to be an if. So basically, if the recommendation and we're going to go under string contains yes, uh, we'll continue. Okay, so now that we're at this step, we are trying to decide how we want to proceed. Do we want to receive a Slack notification for this? I probably wouldn't. I get a lot of spam every single day. And if it, you know, wants to pursue, you know, half of them, then that's probably not going to be good for my workday getting a lot of those messages in Slack. So I don't think I'm going to do any Slack notifications for this path. But what I might do is actually change this mark as red node and move it over um, to um are false so and that is essentially let's look at it again if it contains yes um then we're not going to do anything if it contains no then we're going to mark it as uh red let's double check to make sure yep that should work and so that actually moves all of this over and we can run this We'll leave that as is for right now. And what we can do is we can run this again. There we go. And we'll run this. And it should push, it, push us down a false path. And with that, we will be marking the message as read. And so what it'll do is it'll actually clear all the unreads um, out of your inbox um, and it'll leave the ones that it thinks it's worth pursuing as true. So now that we have this, what we essentially want to do is start creating variations of this for every single path. There, and we're just gonna connect them really quickly. There we go. Now that we've got all the AI nodes, let's go ahead and update them with the correct prompt for the path that they're on. We've got internal right here. There we go. Um, we've got customer support right here. And there we go. Now you may want something completely different, but for my inbox, I want to go ahead and have my AI draft up a response. I don't want it to send any of them. So I'm actually going to do a create a draft node. And for this, we're just going to do another Gmail node. And we're going to look for draft. We're going to get create a draft. Now from this, we're going to be pulling the uh, subject and the message directly from uh, the previous node as the output is set for subject and message. Um, and then we'll notify uh, in Slack. So I'll go ahead and set the Slack node right now. 
and I'm gonna send a message. Now within your draft node, you're gonna notice you have the subject and message uh, lines that are empty. I actually already know what these are, um, but we'll run one later and verify that this actually works um, because it's gonna come from a previous node. So it's gonna be json.message.content uh, and then dot subject or dot message right there. All right, so inside of our Slack node, we're gonna just select a channel we're looking for, in my case, playground, and the uh, message itself is new draft created. You could do some notification that's generated by the AI, that's totally fine. In this case, I didn't with the prompt, so instead what I'm gonna do is I'm going to give it uh, label internal new draft created. Now, if you wanted to add a summary, uh, you could absolutely do that as well. I just didn't on this one. So I've got my label is assigned. I've got my AI analyzing it, generating a subject and a message, outputting that to a draft and then notifying myself via Slack. So I'm gonna copy and paste this and do the exact same thing I did before, which is just add it to each of my paths. In many cases, it's probably totally fine to have it draft a complete email and send it. Uh, in my case, I haven't trained these up. You would probably have to add in a database uh, given you know, company information if you're doing customer support or anything like that. Um, to know how you would handle that. So for right now, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna leave these as created drafts so that I don't have to create that draft later. I can simply review it and either send it or discard it or change it. So all of these have been created and added. I've now got the draft on all of these. Let's double check to make sure because of where I'm pulling the subject and message from, it should be the same for all of these. The final step for the sales path is just gonna be to add a Slack notification. So I'm gonna look up Slack and then send a message. I'm gonna select my channel. And then I'm gonna just create a message. Now, um, in this particular one, my AI is going to draft a notification for me, so I'm actually gonna leave this, um, and then I'm going to run it in just a moment and show you what that looks like. All right, let's go ahead and test this thing out. I just drafted up a mock sales email. I just got it in my inbox. Let's go ahead and test this workflow. And while that's running, let's just double check to make sure this is the right one. Yes, it is the correct email that just came through. So let's go back and watch this thing execute. It's already gone through all the steps. And as you can see, it's already added the label sales opportunities. Now let's go ahead into the draft. Hey, thank you for reaching out and for the kind words from James Mitchell. I'm delighted to hear about your consulting work with fitness studio owners and appreciate your interest in improving inbound lead flow and ad strategy. At Agent Stack, we specialize in, it basically gives that. Uh, could we set up a time for a call to discuss your needs in more detail and review our pricing options? Let me know what works for you. Uh, looking forward to our conversation. And finally, you can see that it sent over a, an opportunity right here. So I'm gonna go and check that in my Slack. And here I am in that Slack channel. You can see new sales opportunity from Sarah Carter. Um, and it basically gives her information. Uh, phone was not provided, further details in the inbox. And so guys, to wrap up, we've created an AI inbox manager that cleans up the clutter and creates an auto drafts responses to emails and routes them appropriately and then notifies you on the back end. Now, there are a hundred other ways to do this build. There are more complex. Um, there are even simpler versions of it. It just depends on what your needs are. Guys, if you found this valuable, go ahead and give me a like and subscribe. And if you want this template along with a lot of others for free, all you have to do is click below, head on over to our school community. It's going to be 100% free. We are launching it very, very soon. So go ahead down below, click it, join. Super excited to see you on the inside. If you have any specific use cases or ideas for variations, I would love to hear it in the comments down below. And if you have any requests for any AI agents or automation builds, uh, I would love to see those. Just drop those in the comments down below as well. So with that being said, guys, thank you so much for stopping by and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.